welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, starting on the mound in this one, Brian Bayo. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The wind and the pitch. On the ground, right side. Wong whips it to first. One up, one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. This is one of the best teams in the league when it comes to drawing walks, Chris, so we'll probably see a very patient approach from them. Yeah, Boogie, that's often uh, what leads to a lot of runs scored. You get guys on base, you work that pitch count up for the opposing pitchers, and then you take advantage when they make mistakes, you get into that bullpen. You can tell that everyone up and down this lineup just comes in with a great plan of attack, a lot of patience, just like you said. JT Real Muto in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Boils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Stays alive. And another ball. And we'll play extra innings in this one. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Bryce Harper stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Two out spaces empty. with the off-speed stuff. Phillies down in order. And now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here in Boston, towing the slab in today's game. Ranger Suarez having a pretty ridiculous season so far, Singy. 
Yeah, you see there with the sub-2 ERA, very dependable guy, and he's been pretty much lights out so far this season. So, you know, when a guy like this takes the mound, Berg, I I'm expecting to watch him get into a rhythm quickly and just move through a ball game. Sometimes he can see some big strikeouts. Other times it's hard to even know he's there because the innings go so quickly. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Zips it across, beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Check out the Red Sox lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. Here's a 1-1. Little chopper rolls foul. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Ball right side. Stop. On to first. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Got him side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Rob Ref Snyder will hit next. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. 0 1 is the count. Right through there for a strike. Only two now. And it skips in the dirt. In the dirt, two and two. And now the lefty keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The 2-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. And they'll do it again. Here's a 2-2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two down. Nobody on. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Kicks and fires. That's ripped. Base hit. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit man aboard and here is Devers. Devers the baby faced assassin. And that one upstairs. Ref Snyder leads off first with two down to the inning. Kick swing and a 1 0. Appeal to third. And he went around. Rule the swing. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Two strikes.
And another ball. Left hand batter waits. Bows it back with two strikes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pache racing over to make the catch. One left for the Red Sox. Scoreless after one. And we're back here at Fenway Park. New inning getting started. And now it's Alec Bohm. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's yep, not that's so easy out. as a right-handed batter. The pitch. There's some players, for whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right-handed pitchers, and their comfort level increased so much that they'd actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. Rolled slowly to first. Smith steps on first for the out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Castellanos, 32 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2010. Not close with that one, and it's one and oh. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Machado is out. Two and one. All tied up, and this crowd really locked in right now. In there at the knees, it's two and two. Just off the inside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. This is Bryson Stott. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Two outs. And a foul ball. The 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. And a pitch. Thrills to first in time. And the count is even 2-2. Two and two. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. And that extends the inning. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. And here is Sosa to the plate. Move to first. And he's back in on a dive. First pitch, just misses. Kicks and deals. And that's in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 
And he deals. There's the strike. Very hard last spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And ball four to a board. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. Whit Merrifield up to the plate. This one in the air. He's got it. And that's the third out. Phillies leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping in for Boston, Connor Wong. His home and away splits there. And a pitch. Just missed. Ripped to third and caught. Batting second, a really important hitter for them. Batting two. The first baseman, Dominic. Now it's Dominic Smith. A little bit low. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. And another ball. <laughs> But misjudges this one, and it falls. And these fans are into it. That one misses in the dirt. Outside, and that is ball four. In danger of losing the combined no-hitter. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The middle and he can't come up with it tag and they got him so an error on the play but they get the out anyway well that was clearly a double play ball but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two but a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one david hamilton up next for the red sox hamilton swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. An acrobatic play to end the inning. And the Red Sox leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Fenway Park. And now here is Christian Pache. Pache. And a pitch. And a strike in there. Fought off foul. And the right hander deals. Here's the switch hitting left fielder Jerks in pro far. Now one and two. And the 
righty deals. Rip to first, caught. It includes a player with a big season last year. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's 0 for 1. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. JT Real Muto steps in. Struck out swinging his first time. Right through there for a strike. pitch turned on but foul wide of third with a chance to score first the crowd really making some noise and one now ball. one and two now a high fly ball out to left center pulls it down and he makes the catch out Number two. Right. And now here is Harper. Thought looking his first time up. Strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Back to the mound. It hit him. Oh, he overruns the base, and they tag him out. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia. Still no score. Bottom of the inning. Leading off, Sidane Rafaela. The center fielder. So now Pete Alonzo at the plate. Alonzo, Whoa, former second right round pick out of the University of Florida. There's a strike. One and one. One and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wide, the kick, and the one two. Ground ball right that's side. Ball. And that's just foul. The wind of the pitch. That's Off the mark two. there. The count now two and two. Wouldn't chase that down. time. Payoff pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Really stayed true on that swing, and it wasn't an easy pitch at all. Lefty on lefty. It was a little down, a little bit away, but she committed to it. Her shoulder stayed square to the plate, and she didn't try to pull off that ball at all. That's why it jumped off her back. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three balls, two strikes to count. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Ball Next one. offering misses. And that's ball one. Got a ball, one strike. That's a little Damn. bit low. 
All tied up, and this crowd making their presence felt. Cronenworth, a seventh round pick by the Rays in 2015 out of the University of Michigan, where he was a two way guy. And in fact, the Rays used him that way. That is strike two. The wind of the pitch stays alive. Pitch in the dirt, and that's ball three. And he walked him in danger of losing the perfect game here. Got a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. In the dirt, blocked, but no advance. That's ball one. Man at first, one away. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. At the belt and fires. And the count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Left-hand hitter waits. Valdivino. Oh, Still tied at zero, last of the third. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Runner takes off in the air out towards right center. Pache sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. Rob Ref Snyder up next for the Red Sox. Put together a great at bat last time. Really battled. Ended up with the base hit. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. Man, it's second. And he hits a ground ball right side. The throw to first, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Fenway, John Chompy with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Alec Bohm. And a pitch. That's Aye. in there. Strike one. Ground ball up the middle. And that one finds its way through. The leadoff single and the go-ahead run is aboard. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Playable bets makes the grab, and there's one away. Ball one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Double play ball to second. There's one. On to Smith. Two. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. 
And now Bryson stop. And a foul ball. Just off the outside edge. And now it's even one and one. Fourth inning underway, no score. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle, and that chance handled. And that is the inning. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Suarez back to work. And yeah, that's outside. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Pache sizes this one up, calls it in, and there's one away. Connor Wong now at the plate. He's all for one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. But misjudges this one and it falls. And just about everyone standing nope, here in the ball. ballpark. Do a note. Victor Gonzalez, the new pitcher, the lefty from Mexico. Merrifield, ranging back, pulls it in on the warning track. The first baseman, number two, Dominic. Dom Smith stands in. He reached out a walk his first time. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a curve misses outside. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Yep. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. In the air out to center. Pache raging after it. He's got it. And that ends the inning. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. in Boston ready now for the fifth inning so digging in now for Philadelphia Edmundo Sosa and the right hander back to work bounced out to short over to Smith one away here in the fifth postseason games are defined by these situations can you get the runner home from third when it matters most and digging in for Philadelphia Whit Merrifield Line drive, speared it first. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that quickly two away. Good first out of the inning because it keeps the runner at third. They don't score on the play, and that was the goal. Now you have to do it a few more times before you're completely out of this jam. Here's Christian Pache, 0 for 1 so far. He's been That's going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Hey. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. One ball, one strike. Hard on the ground to first. He steps on the bag, 
And the Phillies are set down in order. Down quickly go the Phillies. And we are still scoreless. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So stepping in for Boston, Bobby Dalbeck. The pitch. And fouled off. Now a one and one. to kick the pitch and oh. another ball two balls two strikes that one misses and it's three and two David Hamilton on deck for Boston the pitch foul ball and it remains a full cow pitch high fly ball shallow right field Castellanos gets under it and there's one away now David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox in there and it's all in one it's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball all tied up and the towels are waving to the pitch fights it off you'll see another definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open and a swing and a miss two away thought it was a pretty good pitch top of the strike zone we're seeing more fastballs in that location hitters especially with two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger Sidine Rafaela getting ready to hit. And there's a ball. And the 1 0. Wouldn't chase that time. 2 0. And now the lefty. And Ball another three. ball. Jaron Duran waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Ground ball to the right side. And that one handled. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle. Bayo back to work. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Safe at third, moves up on the pass ball. The 
the 1 0. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The 1 1. Fouled off. He was late. Definitely a tough play right there, and she had a little trouble on the transfer. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made all the difference. Well, next offering is downstairs. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Phillies fans want a strikeout. Swing and a ball popped up. Hamilton gets there. He's under it. And there's one down. Now and now it is JT Real Muto. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit nope. to one velocity and stay there. Pache stands at third with one gone to the inning. Machado is out, and the count two and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right-hander kicks deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And here it comes. Three. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Here's Bryce Harper. First pitch misses. Count one and oh. Two outs. That's in for a strike at 95. And a count one and one. That one lifted to left. Ref Snyder drifts towards it. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. No score. Six. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Jaron Duran. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. The next nope. offering misses, and the count is one and one. One and one. And that one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. In plenty of time to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now back, the designated hitter. And, and next is the designated hitter. Oh, it's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, 
and he's in full speed. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. He's trying for third. Pitch inside. And it throws off one. Safe at third. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him. And right there, stealing third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And that's in the dirt. Runners on first and third, two away. Here at the top of the second. Still two and two after the foul ball. the grab runner tags from third across is the winning run and they walk it off man i think her legs are feeling good in this one she really tried to stretch it there to go from first all the way to home but she ran out of steam a little bit as she came around third great relay from the defense a quick tag at the plate and they cut down the run one nothing the final for chris singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at mlb the show I'm John Chambi saying so long.